Welcome, my friends. Thanks for stopping by once again as we sample some more great tasting international craft beers with Dr. Dave. Keyword there is international. Yes, indeed. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights. Today I spotted this in one of my favorite local beverage stores. Man, they have over 4,000 different beers in there. 4,000. Could you imagine walking into some place that has 4,000 different beers? Oh, man, my nose is... <laughs> Well, I'm not sure how to pronounce this. I'll probably butcher it, but I'll give it a shot. Yeah, the Bacalar, Bacalar Bararai. Yeah, the Bacalar Bararai. Now, they're located in the Czech Republic. Don't ask me to pronounce the city in the Czech Republic because I'll butcher that as well. Oh, man, this is going to be good. Uh, what does it say? 4.9% alcohol by volume. I wrote it down here. No, 4.1%. I'm sorry. Yes, well, you see, I can't read in the dark, man. It's dark. There's no light in here. Yeah, 4.1% alcohol by volume. And uh, the thing that caught my eye on the back, well, two things. I'm looking for the date, which is Julian Code. It's good. It's 138 days old, which is not old for a Pilsner. Uh, but it's brewed with sauce hops. Mm. And the bottle cap, man, yeah, I never had one. So what you do to preserve bottle caps, you can pop them open real quick and be a smart ass about it, but I don't do that anymore. What I do is I take a coin. Uh, this is a Susan B. Anthony dollar. It's almost the size of a quarter. And I put that between the bottle cap and the bottle opener. So here we go. Let's give it a shot, baby boy. There you go. Just open her up nice and slow. And there is the bottle cap. Now, uh-oh, it went on the floor. The cat will get that. <laughs> the only thing I didn't like about the bottle, well, it was refrigerated, which is most important when you buy any beer, but especially an international beer, you got to buy them refrigerated. I don't particularly like green glass, but it is what it is. We're going to use this lovely glassware. Look at that. Oh, I love that conic shape on the bottom. Yeah. Now, if you pour this straight in, you're going to get a lot of foam. So slow your roll. Mmm, man. See, those sauce hops, man, they're unmistakably spicy. Now, you see what happens if you don't pay attention? Now, I took my time on that, and I still got quite a bit of foam. Now, that will come down in just a few minutes while I talk about the beer, but it is a beautiful, it has a copper tinge to it. It's golden, but it has a copper tinge to it. Oh, man, I'm telling you. Uh, Czechoslovak, well, that's the old Czechoslovakia, Czech Republic. They brew beer. They do two things really well. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I should say because people will chastise me for that. Uh, yeah, they manufacture great firearms, but they have great beer as well. Oh, man, I'm telling you. Look at the carbonation on that sucker. And that head is solid. The head is not going anywhere. So let's pour a little bit more in here. Uh, by the way, this um, this is a 650 milliliter bottle. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's a uh, 550 milliliter bottle. Yeah, 550 milliliters. Oh, man. That is a beautiful looking beer. Lively carbonated. Some flowery hops in there with a bit of spice. Man, and that head... For a uh, a Pilsner, a lager style. That is some rocky head. Look at that thing. See it? You just don't get that with your typical macro lagers. Like, uh, well, well, we'll go ahead and mention some names. Budweiser and Bush and all the others. Uh, what's that one out of Texas? Uh, yeah, you know, all my exes live in Texas. You just don't get that kind of foam. Look at that thing. It's not going anywhere. Look at it. Uh, I'm anxious to try this. Hey, many thanks to the brewers in the Czech Republic. Uh, man, the people in the Czech Republic. Uh, I tell you, I, I don't know if I would have moved there, but, man, they have some great things there, don't they? <laughs> they sure do. Uh, many thanks to the brewers there. Cheers to them. Cheers to you at home, no doubt. Oh, man. 
I love a beer with size hops. Man, I'm telling you, I'm a sucker for a beer with size hops. And I love this glassware. I bought this glassware on Amazon a few years back. I think it's still available. And it comes in a four-pack. But I bought this, uh, this particular glassware as a standalone. Uh, it came in a two-pack. It's expensive, man. It's expensive. But, man, I'm telling you, this is great. This is a great glass. Uh, it's not for you if you have an, a rambunctious dog or a curious cat, which I've got three cats, but they're, they mind their business. Or, or kids, man, because I'm telling you, um, this is not cheap glassware. No, this, uh, two of these is like $55, man, for two of them. Oh, man. <laughs> Tell me. The Czech Republic. The Czech and look at look, I haven't done anything to that beer yet. Look at look at the foam. I'm gonna tilt it all I can, and the foam's just gonna move up. That's all that's gonna happen. Look at it. This is a light body beer with light carbonation, and it would not offend anybody. And I like to say this because it rings true, it would not offend your grandmother. Yeah, because everybody has a grandmother or two. Hopefully you have two. And, uh, man, I'm telling you, we just uh, we think of our grandmother as salt of the earth, right? And she would never do anything wrong. Well, some are different from others. But I tell you what, she would have a sip of it and say, oh, my, that's very good. <laughs> it's not offensive to anyone. The sauce hops, though, the spice from the sauce hops is what's key in this beer. Oh, man. Clean, crisp, and refreshing, man. But it's got a lot to do with the water, the pH of the water. In you know, around the world, water is different than it is here in the States. Of course, with modern brewing methods, we can make the pH of, of our water match anywhere in the world. We can make it match this beer. But they use that pure spring water, and uh, you just can't beat it. Man, some lively carbonation flowing up from the bottom. That's got a lot to do with this conic uh, bottom on this. It's etched. So it's got a lot to do with that. But, uh, man, usually when you see the word premium and then you see the word lager, it's not going to be that premium. But in this case, it is. Yeah, it's uh, a really good beer, even though it's in a green bottle. Uh, anybody that knows anything about beer at all knows that you should stay away from green bottles. Um, green bottles, though, they come in a cardboard package like uh, Stella Artois. Come, their 12 packs are, are completely encased in cardboard. Oh, yeah, those are okay. Same thing with Beck's or St. Pauli's. Those are okay. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. But uh, when you have a standalone green bottle, the store light and the light from the coolers, even though it's not sunlight, it still degrades the beer to a certain extent, and you want to avoid them at all costs. The only reason I bought this beer, though, is because the place I bought it at rotates their beers quite frequently, and I knew that this hadn't been sitting around a while. Like I said, it's 138 days old. That's not, that's not old. Are you kidding me? That's not old. For a Pilsner, a lager, that's not old. No. Now, if the beer would sit there a year, I would say no, no. Uh, for Pilsners, lagers, I think about six months would be the maximum time frame, provided that it is refrigerated. Of course, they can last much longer, but I'm just saying if I'm going to buy it, yeah. Well, anyway, look, man, look at that lacing. Look at the head. Look at that color of that beer. It doesn't get any better than that, my friends, for an international beer. Life is short. Let's be happy. Try new things like this beer right here from the Czech Republic. You'll like it, man. I'm telling you, if you like the American macro lagers, you'll like this beer. It's got some body to it. It's got some spice. It's got some aromas. That's what it's all about, my friends. And on that note, until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. And as always, cheers. <laughs>